On a cloudy and rainy day like today, this French stew is the perfect calming and cozy meal. Hey Busy Bees, it's Zong and today I am so excited to be partnering with Le Creuset to share a delicious French stew, a Coca Von Blanc. It's a creamy white variation of the traditional braised chicken stew that's a lot easier to make than you might think. Now before we get started on this recipe, I want to talk to you about finding your calm in the kitchen. Believe it or not, it's been raining quite a bit in Los Angeles, and when it does, I like to escape into my kitchen and cook away. Nate usually plays with Aracy or they watch a movie together while I prepare us all dinner. The repetitive motion of cutting veggies and prepping my ingredients have always been a stress reliever for me. It's mindless handwork that I really enjoy, all the while blasting Taylor Swift and Bruno Mars because I have musical taste of a 15 year old. <laughs> my kitchen was designed to be like my little oasis. I have a lot of pastel bowls and plates on display. And for cookwares, you've seen my pink Le Creuset in the videos quite a bit. But today, I want to share the new Spring 2019 collection featuring the meringue, sea salt, and fig colors. Le Creuset is the color leader and innovator in cookware, and these calming colors pair so well with my existing pastel collection. They're also a perfect vehicle to cook up comforting meals. Which leads us to making this delicious French stew in my round Le Creuset Dutch oven in meringue. Let's get started, shall we? In my Dutch oven on medium-high heat, I'll just add a little bit of butter, about one to two tablespoons, and then I'm gonna brown some chicken legs that I've already seasoned with salt and pepper. I have four bone-in skin on chicken thighs and two drumsticks. Personally, I like the legs the best, but if you wanna use bone-in chicken breasts, feel free to do so. I'll brown them three at a time so that the chicken doesn't steam up. Once they're done, we'll set them aside. Look at that beautiful sear. I also forgot to mention that whenever you're browning chicken, make sure to do the skin side down first. I'm gonna start on my next batch. Look at this beautiful sear. Oh, it's so perfect. This looks good. I'm gonna give the pot a quick wipe down just to get rid of any of the burnt bits and take out the excess oil. I'm just gonna do so with a paper towel and tongs. And then we'll move on to our flavor builders. Here I have three slices of bacon that I've already chopped up and in the same pot, I'll just throw in the bacon and cook it up for about three to five minutes until the bacon crisps up. Mmm, bacon. Once the fat has rendered, I'll toss in half of an onion that I've already chopped, about one cup of sliced cremini mushrooms, and three cloves of garlic. I'll saute those for a few minutes just until the onions start to turn translucent. And now I'll add one tablespoon of flour and one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, just to give it a little bit of acid. I'll give it a quick stir and then I'll deglaze the pot with half a cup of chicken broth and one and a half cups of white wine. This is where our Coca Von Blanc comes in. For the wine, I used a dry Sauvignon Blanc, but you can use any dry white wine like Chardonnay, Pinot Gris, or even Riesling. For the deglazing of the pot, I'm now just gonna kind of scrape the bottom. Make sure you protect your pot though with a silicone spoon. Never use a metal spoon on your beloved Le Creuset's. That'll ruin the enamel for sure. Oh, this smells so rich and savory. Okay, now I'm gonna nestle the chicken back into the pot. Make sure they fit all snugly together in there. Perfect. Now I'll add the herbs, a sprig of thyme and a bay leaf, and then a pinch of salt. 
finally, we'll add half a cup of heavy cream and let everything simmer and cook up for about 30 minutes with the lid on until the chicken is fork tender and nice and cooked through. All right, our Coco Von Blanc is done. It smells incredibly savory and bacony, and oh, I can't wait to dig in. Because the pot is so charming, you really could just serve it right out of the pot like this and sprinkle it with some parsley. Or if you want to plate it, I recommend serving it with some buttered egg noodles and just scooping the coca von right on top with some sauce, of course. All right, let's dig in. Coco Von Blanc is the most comforting meal for this polar vortex going on in the US right now. Or that little bit of rain that's going on in LA too. My love for the Le Creuset collection has been real since the day I started taking cooking seriously. And since they're so classic and made to last, I know one day I'll be passing them down to Erisi and her siblings. But until then, I will happily cook with them. But honestly, these cookware last for generations. If you already have this new collection, be sure to tag me on social at Honeysuckle and use hashtag ComKitchen to share your creations. And if you want to learn more about Le Creuset, their history, how they're made, head on over to their website or you can go to Williams Sonoma to check out the new meringue collection in store. I'll leave a link in the description box below. All right, that about does it for this video. Give this video a like if you love French food and turn on that notification bell and subscribe to my channel for more quick and delicious easy meals. If you guys are watching this far, let's drop a heart and a baguette and an Eiffel Tower for our secret video emojis. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!